created time. Time was created along with the universe. The universe has a temporal structure to it, but before the existence of the universe, there was no such thing as time. So we can't ask what God was doing before the moment of creation. There was no such thing as before the moment of creation. Time didn't yet exist. Similarly, we can't say why would God have created the universe at this point rather than at an earlier point of time or a later point of time. There were no points of time until the universe was created. Well, that itself seems like a satisfying solution. And indeed, we could think of God then as not really existing in time. God exists outside of time. God has an existence that is prior to, not prior temporally to, but prior conceptually and ontologically to the existence of time itself. So time itself is a creature. It is a creation of God's part of the creation of the universe. Well, if that's right, then we can say, okay, good. Time must exist as an eternity. In fact, there's an image that Boethius uses of God being like a being on a mountaintop, a guru, if you will, on a mountaintop looking down at the road, the road of time, and seeing all of the road at once. God perceives present and past and future, all, as it were, simultaneously, all from a vantage point outside time. And so God has a kind of immediate knowledge of everything present, everything past, everything future. Well, that seems to imply that all of those times exist, that present exists, but also past exists and future exists. After all, God knows these, right? God knows what's happened in the past. God knows what's happening in the present. God knows what will happen in the future. And yet, how can you know what doesn't exist? And so surely to know something, it must exist. So past, present, future must exist. And yet, Augustine says, but from our point of view, time appears quite different.